Yeah, hi, what is your name? Uh, my name is Vidyat Ayer. Uh, Vidyat, uh, what do you study? Uh, I study Electronics and Telecommunication at Sardar Patel Institute of Technology. Yeah. Okay, and in which year you are? I am currently in first year, I just joined. To get into SPIT, uh, which exam you appear for? So, the two exams that allow you entry are JE and MSTCET. I personally got in through MSTCET. Okay, and how much did you score in your CET? So, I scored 98th percentile in my CET and in my JE, I had scored 92th percentile. So, CET was the one where I scored higher, so that's the one that, you know, worked for me here. How much did you score in your 12th? In my 12th, I scored 93.8% uh, and okay. uh, I was from the ISC board, so I took a drop year after my 12th and then I prepared for exams to come here. Okay, and what are your future plans after completing your graduation? So, I'm particularly interested in hardware, so I'm looking at a lot of VLSI design, or you know anything to do with chip engineering, analog circuit design, stuff like that. Okay, and what is the average package for a XT3 uh, student over here? I mean, again, data can be a bit misleading here, but based on what we've been told on the, you know, just flyers, posters that are there everywhere, it averages around 15 LPA. Okay, 15 LPA, that's it. that is great. And can you tell me some study materials or resources uh, which you use while preparing for uh, CET, JE means? So I think. One thing that I had been hearing and I didn't understand it till now is that, you know, whatever coaching material you get from your places are not your Bible, but those are the first things you should practice. Then, even if you're ready for it or not, start giving mock tests. I think that's what helped me a lot okay. because I would spend hours and hours learning one topic, but then I wouldn't necessarily be able to answer questions. So, mock tests are what kind of push you in that spot where you're okay. suddenly like, okay, even if I need to answer these questions right now and I don't know it, I'm going to try. And... For CET, you need to remember that there's no negative marking, so it's okay. a lot more helpful. And what makes uh, SPIT a top engineering uh, college uh, in Mumbai? So, top I would say number college? one, we have a really beautiful campus. I mean, you can see there's a volleyball ground here. If we walk around, there's a couple of animals everywhere. There's a lake. So, I'd say the campus is one of the great things about SPIT. The second thing is, you know, we do have good teachers too for all our subjects. And... Overall, I would just say it's a lot more balanced environment, right? We have liberal learning courses as well. And we just have a lot of more hands-on work here at SPIT. So I'd say that's what makes it special. And uh, any tips or advice for those students who are aiming to get into SPIT or preparing for GWE? I would say keep giving mock tests. Focus on your basics because a lot of times anything that's tougher is only not clear because your basics are a little askew. And other than that, I would say ki it's not the end of everything. Yeah. Like, you'll always have CET. If not that, you'll have some other exam. So, there are many ways to become an engineer. What matters most is what you do in those four years and how you plan those four years and everything beyond.